Stranded Deep finally supports the Steam Workshop. So we can now upload our maps to the workshop, people can subscribe to us, and then whenever we upload something new or do changes, the game will automatically download all the new content that you have subscribed to, which is really awesome, but it's not the most straightforward process at the moment. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing you need is the Steam Workshop tool, at least at the moment. I really hope they will integrate this into the game, but this is how you have to do it at the moment. You can get the Workshop tool following the link down below, or if you want to be really sure that you have the current version, you can go to Stranded Deep on Steam, scroll down to the updates, find the Workshop update, and there you have the link, which you can follow, and it leads you to the download page right here. We want to continue to the external site. Here we have the current version of the Workshop tool. Over here we can download Load it. I'm just gonna download it to my games hard drive for now. And once we have that, we extract it with whatever tool we like. And here we have the workshop tool itself. If we open it, this is how it should look. If it says this, checking user locked on, done, then it is ready to work. So we can set this aside for now. All you need for this to work really is to have Steam installed. I don't think there are any other requirements. I want to show you how to upload a map. The easiest way I found for this is to work on your base hard drive. So we're going to create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it temp. And in here we throw all the requirements for our map upload, which is for once, of course, the map. You can find that under documents, under. <laughs> they have stranded deep data, editor, maps. And now it's a bit difficult because you don't really know which of these is which. If you have multiple and don't know what they are, you can open one of these files with a text editor. This looks very cryptic, but in here you will find, there we go, the name of the map. And I'm going to upload the second version of my Animal Kingdom map, which includes pre-made structures. So now that we know this is the map we want, I'm going to copy it and paste it here. Sorry for the German layout, my Windows is in German since I'm German. You need this entire folder to be in here. The second thing we need is a preview image. This image will be shown on the Steam Workshop, so it should be a decent shot. I have prepared this one right here. You can see a larger shot of the island and then some details down below. And well, that's my name because it's my name. So I'm copying it in here. Also important, it has to be a JPEG file. I think that's important. At least that's what they say on the explanation page. The last thing we need is a JSON file that describes what we are uploading. So we're going to new and text document. What you need for this is for the endings of your files to show. I don't know how that is called in English, but if you don't see this .txt when creating a new text file, you have to go into the very last tab here, at least for Windows 10. I think it's called view in English. Then under options, you have your folder and search options, under which you have maybe view. And then there is this option here, which in English should be something like Google to the rescue. This, this is what you need. <laughs> Once we have that, we can rename our file to what Whatever. I call it upload.json, J-A-S-O-N. Windows is gonna be like, OMG, are you sure you know what you're doing? And I'm like, yeah. Now we open a text editor again and back at our page in Stranded Deep, where they have the workshop update. They also have this link here, publishing maps, which contains the template for the JSON file that we need. It's really easy and straightforward. It has to contain this here and we will edit this to our needs. So the title of the map I'm going to upload is gonna be Animal Kingdom Pre-Made Structures. We enter a description, there we go. We enter a version, this is not super important, but I'm going to stick with the version that the game tells me the map is at, so that would be 9 for me. You can just, it really doesn't matter. Now you say where your preview image is, which in my case is C. TMP. It's important that you have two backslashes here. That's because of JSON files and how they work. And my content path is CTMP because this is where everything lays. So once again to check, my folder is CTMP, correct. My preview image is CTMP preview JPEG, correct. And all the other information are correct as well. So now we bring over this Steam Workshop tool that we put aside earlier. We say upload underscore item space and then we put in quotes the path to our upload.json file or however you call that file so c double point i don't know how that's called in english slash only a single slash here tmp for me because that's where i put it and i only put it there because it's a short name less to type slash upload.json don't forget the second up quotes quotes whatever hit enter and i get an error <laughs> because i haven't saved the json file you should do that second try Updated item, writing JSON, done. If it looks like that, everything should be fine and we can check it on Steam. So I'm going to workshop to my files and there we have it. 
the one I had before and the new version. So now in order for other people to see this, you have to click on it, you have to go down here to visibility and you have to set it to public. Once you've done that, you can share it and here is the link for it. Whoever wants to see this has to be logged in into Steam though. So that's it, it's not too complicated, but I really think they should add that into the game. No reason to have an external tool for that and I'm sure they will do this eventually. I really hope this video helped you out. I hope I will see you in the next one. This was your personal virus and I hope I got you infected.